Now, this uh, factorizing by grouping pairs, uh, I'm just going to write something. This is used um, to factorize uh, expression with four terms. Okay, so for example, bx uh, plus by plus cx plus cy. Okay, I want to factorize that. Right, so uh, I can see that in the first two terms there is b. So I'm going to factorize by b the first two terms. So that's b times x plus y. And then for the two other terms, there is a c in both. So I can factorize using the c. So that's c times x plus y. And then, ooh, now I have x plus y and x plus y in two terms. So I can factorize by x plus y. So x plus y times b plus c. And here we go. That's factorized, fully factorized. Let's try another one. <clears throat> Um, m square minus mn minus 2m plus 2n. Right. Well, for the first two terms here, I can factorize that by m times m minus n. Okay, so let's write that. m times m minus n. And then for the second term, I can factorize here by there is a factor 2, so that's uh, plus, or actually, minus, minus 2 times m minus n. Okay, beautiful. And now I have n minus n and n minus n, so I can factorize by m minus n. And that's going to be m minus 2. Here we go, fully factorized. Now, um, at time, you may have to move things around a little bit. So, okay, let's, let's do another one. So, say, for example, you have mx plus um, ny plus nx plus my. Okay, well, that's not immediately obvious. But if I kind of change the position of those two, then it becomes mx plus nx plus ny plus my. And so then, okay, so that then I can factorize the first two terms by m plus n times x. And likewise for the other one, I can factorize that m plus n times y and here we go now i can that's m plus n times x plus y so just keep in mind that sometimes you may have to reorder the terms uh, to make it work <laughs>